in the shunting yard, engines work all day and all night. Steamrollers, too. Within the shunting yard, there's an old shed. Within this shed is just an old building. It's not really in use that much anymore. But, however, it does exist. And the engines love working around it. I think that's good ambience, said Philip. Within the shunting yards is a big engine. His name is Hank. Hank comes from the USA. And he loves working the shunting yards. Hank has a little trouble working the shunting yards. You see, he has trouble going on the big turns. The turns could be quite sharp for him. Once upon a time. Eh, well, I gotta get this stuff getting ready. Hank was hanging on the shunting yards. He had a lot of work to do. He had to get ready for a big goods train. Thomas, he said, can you help me out with these cars? Oh, sure thing, Hank. Uh, can you move out of the way? Okay. Thomas went to go find a turntable. Not much long later, Thomas came back. All right, I'm ready to help you out, Hank. But then, Thomas realized he needed Hank to move out of the way. Uh, Hank, can you move, please? Here. I'll move out my way, and then you can head around the loop. Hank went around the loop. I'm not sure, Thomas, how I like going around here. Oh, it's fine, said Thomas. So Hank backed up, and they charged, and then... Hank was completely derailed. He splashed right into the pond. Percy was rightfully shocked. But Thomas... Oh, being the cheeky little engine he is, he just laughed and laughed. Ha! That was funny, Hank. Hank thought to disagree. Not long later, George rolled up. Ha! <laughs> he said. You look stupid. You look like, whoa! This time, all the engines laughed. Even Philip. Thankfully, Hank and George were put back on the rails in the road. However, when Thomas and Percy went back to the shed, things were a little different. You know, said Thomas, I think it was pretty funny today when Hank and George crashed. Actually, said Percy, I feel like it was kind of strange. I mean, yeah, George is kind of funny. I mean, it was always nice to get a little revenge on that stupid steamroller. But, I mean... I don't think Hank really deserved it. But Percy, said Thomas, it was absolutely hilarious. He, got, he could have gotten badly hurt, you know. The next day when Thomas woke up, he found that he was the only one in the sheds. Huh, looks like it's all to me. Woohoo! Thomas whizzed past the station. Thomason rushed onto the turntable. Woohoo! He said. He was having a grand old time. The shunting yard's all mine. Woohoo! Woohoo! He said. Thompson bumping cars about. You heard us. You heard us. However, Thomas didn't care very much. Flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Ha! <laughs> and Thomas rushed off. However, any wise engine knows not to play in the shunting yard going super fast. Then Thomas went full speed at the junction and. Oof, said Thomas. That's my boiler, he said. I'm stuck in the old factory. Not long later, Hank rolled by. Hank, being a nice engine, was pretty sad about Thomas's incident. However, he couldn't help but to snicker to himself. Well then, Thomas, I have to take my load first. But then after that, I can help you. Then, George came. Hey, Thomas, you look like oof. Ow. Well, Thomas, 
Let me get my load. When Hank came back to the shunting yards, he was glad to find that Percy, Toby, and Philip were already trying to help Thomas get out of the shed. And he couldn't help but notice no one was helping George. Hank had dealt with cranes before, so he helped the engines out. Hank then puffed off with Thomas. Thomas got sent off to the shed. Thomas then learned it's important to treat your friends nice. I agree with that, don't you, 